Whichever way you decide to do it, this technique is absolutely amazing and it's gonna catch opponents off <laughs> any caliber off guard and often results in an easy kill. What's going on guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Bunch of crunch army. Never let depression keep you down. Keep grinding, keep going, keep a smile on your face, man, because know that things are going to get better every single day, man. Every single week, man. I don't care what's going on in our world today. You know, you can choose to make a difference in someone's life, man, just by bring, being a light to them. So keep going, man. I believe in you guys. The meta in Fortnite is constantly evolving, and box fighting is no different. New techniques are constantly coming out, forcing us to constantly learn and adapt to a bunch of new techniques, weapons, and locations, and so much more, right? In today's video, we're gonna be going over 10 insane box fight techniques pros use that you're probably not even using yet. I'll just tell you ahead of time, if you can implement all these temps into your gameplay, oh my goodness, <laughs> you're gonna be a box fighting monster, period. All right, before we hop into this first technique though, let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite weapon that was added this season? Now, personally, I think I go against the majority when I say Shockwave Launcher is one of my favorite additions. It's just so versatile and really just fun to use. I really can't help but, you know, have a blast every single time I pick it up. But then again, in terms of competitive, it's definitely a bit overpowered. Let me know your favorite new weapon down in the comments. All right, guys, Bunch of Crunch Army. Man, check this out. We're going to be doing another giveaway, but this time it's going to be a Bunch of Crunch box giveaway. There are going to be three winners, and I'm personally going to mail them a box of Bunch of Crunch. When I reach 50,000 followers on my Insta, I'm so pumped, guys, so we got to get this going. And uh, with that said, Bunch of Crunch Army, say it with me. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that Bunch of Crunch. And let's get this going. The first technique is one that you may have seen before from pro players, which might make you wonder, holy crap, is this guy a hacker? <laughs> I'll be honest, the first time I saw a pro use this technique, I genuinely thought he was cheating. But no, no, it actually turns out that he was using his sneaky little trick. This trick basically consists of this. All right, let me break it down. Your opponent is taking your wall and you're inside your box. But instead of just simply holding your wall, you hold your shotgun out. And the instant they break the wall, in the bit of time between the wall breaking and their new wall coming in, you blast them with a shotgun shot. This technique is absolutely busted, and it's really no wonder why so many pros love to abuse it. This technique basically takes advantage of the 0.15 second rule, which makes it so every wall that's broken takes about 0.15 seconds between the time it breaks and the time between the new wall that can be placed. If you time it correctly and you hit a good shot, you can literally hit your opponent for max damage, like with ease. So what I'd recommend doing for this technique is heading into creative with a friend and just practicing it against them while they simply just pick out your wall and try to replace it. It'll definitely take a bit, you know, really to get the timing perfect, obviously, right? But once you can do it consistently, <laughs> you're gonna be forced to be reckoned with when it comes to box fights. Second up, we've got a pretty nice peace control play for whenever your box is being pushed from above. Basically, this technique is the most effective way to stomp on those pesky players who keep pickaxing at your cone. All you gotta do for this technique is edit your floor and cone above you, preferably with two tiles so you can just have more vision, and place a wall in front of your opponent. From here, and I mean like right here, edit the wall, jump up, and you're gonna have an easy view to just shoot them. This is such a simple move, but it works against even some of the top pros in the world. An optional addition you know you can make for even more control is placing a cone up top after editing your wall, making it impossible for your opponent to just jump up to escape, all right? But overall, like this wall block technique is literally insane. And it's really one of the most consistent techniques around. So make sure that you give it a shot. One of the most OG techniques in the game, which was popularized by Mitro's insane play in the fall skirmish way back in the day, <laughs> I'm getting so old, is the Shockwave Classic. Basically, the Shockwave Classic consists of using the Shockwave Grenade, or in this case, the brand new Shockwave Launcher, to blast yourself through your opponent's builds and into their box. You can do this vertically by setting up above your opponent's box and just shooting the grenade onto a floor above you, or horizontally by setting up a few boxes away from your opponent and shooting the grenade to a wall next to you in the opposite direction of your opponent's box. Whichever way you decide to do it, this technique is absolutely amazing and it's gonna catch opponents off <laughs> any caliber off guard and often results in an easy kill. Next up is a technique that we only refer to as the 200 IQ fall damage play because, well, it is. 
This technique is really best used when you're in a bell fight, especially if you're quite a bit into the sky, at least high enough for anyone who falls to die to fall damage. All you gotta do for this technique, guys, is just really be on the low ground, <laughs> in a box, and predict which side your opponent is going to push your box from. On that specific side, edit your wall into a bottom triangle and select the two front tiles of the floor, making sure you stay on the actual floor so you aren't the one who dies to fall damage. We don't want that one. Then simply wait, man. If your opponent tries to push your box from that side and tries to place a floor, ramp, or cone next to your box, then they'll simply end up flying to their death and you could just lap your way straight to the loot. <laughs> That's funny. Next up is actually a two in one trick. It's a two in one trick, this really is. And that's pre-building structures in front of your opponent, not only for peace control, but to get easy edits resulting in a kill. All right, the first situation where this is super useful is when your opponent is below you trying to build up or tunneling in one direction and you're able just to cut them off. Simply place a floor and cone where you expect them to go and edit them as fast as possible. Chances are your opponent is gonna get caught under your edits resulting in an easy shot. Okay, another situation is with a wall, especially on a tunneling opponent. You can easily just catch them off guard if you place a sidewall of their tunnel before they get into the box. And you could just simply edit through and get a free shot. These are really actually both super effective and really easy to do. Be sure to use these two amazing pre-build plays whenever you get the chance. And since that technique was number five on the list, I'd like to quickly just stop you for a second and ask you to check out our website, man. You have to. ProGuys.com, where we have 24-7 on-demand coaching from pro players, man, along with brand new programs that are coming out to help you improve like a whole lot in Fortnite. Whether you're looking to become a smarter player or improve your mechanics, learn new techniques, or even go pro, who wants to go pro? Come on. ProGuys.com, that's going to be a huge help. Check it out at the link in the description. All right, with that being said, let's move on to the next technique. Here we go. One other helpful tip that only pros seem to do is to use cones to their potential in box fights, especially against pretty good players. Cones are like one of the biggest skill gaps in Fortnite to this day. A few situations that you can use cones include placing one inside of an opponent's box and editing on them for an easy shot while they're confused, <laughs> taking the roof and placing one inside to get an easy angle from above, placing one above a player ramping up, placing a wall in front of for peace control and editing through for an easy shot and so many more. Seriously, cones are so versatile, man. If you're not using them yet, then you're making a horrible mistake. Hopefully these actually really help you out and hopefully that you can even find more ways to use these amazing versatile build pieces as well. Hope you do. Moving on to the seventh technique on the list and we've got a half ramp edit. Now, this is one of the most seemingly simple edits that actually work insanely well and actually can be something that can really win you every 50-50 if you do it right. All you gotta do for this technique is be inside of a box with a ramp on top of your opponent and edit the left-hand side of your ramp forward while they're under it. You should be positioned just to the right of your edit and then you can just edit the ramp. You're gonna be able to now peek with this sort of right-hand peek and get an easy shot on your opponent while they're only gonna be able to really shoot your feet. This technique is super easy and definitely one of the most effective ways to get damage off when you and your opponent are in the same box. All right, moving on to number eight. We've got a pretty interesting outplay, which is the edit bait. Now, the edit bait comes in a bunch of forms, but the most common ones include switching to another weapon, like an SMG, or pretending to pop a healing item. Basically, these are meant to bait your opponent into pressuring you, right? Or bait your opponent into making an edit, you know, etc. You get it. You'll typically want to do this when you have control over the wall between you. Basically doing the action to bait your opponent into applying pressure, then editing to surprise them. You can also do this when your opponent has the wall and just try to bait them into making an edit, but this play is much riskier, especially against good players who understand right hand peeking and have a good grasp of box fighting in general. So, whenever you're going against an opponent who just doesn't seem to budge, giving them some incentive to budge, then hitting them with a surprise edit is an easy way to potentially clean up the kill. All right, next up, we've got a pretty interesting phasing technique that you can do with the crash pad item. All right, this trick is actually pretty easy to set up and can really catch your opponent off guard even if they're really good. All right, check this out. All you gotta do is just set yourself up against your opponent's wall on a cone and look slightly toward the top of the wall, throw your crash pad down, and it should bounce off the wall and onto your cone, sending you flying straight into your opponent's box. You can use this technique when you need to quickly get on your opponent and it can really allow for some super easy kills. So remember to give this one a shot. 
finally, the last technique that we want to cover in this video is the classic ramp phase. All right, this technique has been around for a little while, but still, <laughs> it works beautifully. The way it's typically done is that, you know, you let your opponent take your wall, then quickly turn around and place a ramp above your head in your box. Go all the way to the back wall and flip the ramp so your feet faces straight through it. The ramp should turn yellow if it's done correctly. Then you can simply shoot straight through it. If your opponent doesn't realize what you're doing, you can just easily get upwards of 100 damage off and really just clean up the kill from here. This technique is so darn helpful. Yes, I just said the word darn is actually my second favorite word. And I seriously recommend giving it a shot. Even though it's been shown before, it still works amazingly well, even against high level opponents. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I don't care if the world is against you, man. You got somebody that is rooting for you. You got somebody that, man, believes in you. I really, really do, man. So shoot for the stars, man. Don't ever give up. Don't ever, you know, talk negative about yourself, man. Just know that you can do anything. You really, really can. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. We really hope these techniques really help you out. In the description of this video, we're gonna be putting a link to our Pro Guys community Discord, where you can find people to play with, join our giveaways, for skins, battle passes, and points for a website to get coaching, along with just a great place to hang out, honestly. Also, if you want to see more content from the community, be sure to join the r slash pro guide subreddit as well. And finally, make sure to subscribe and drop a like on the video if you want to see more content just like this. All right, keep eating that bunch of crunch, and we'll see you soon. Peace.